Hey guys, so today we're going to open a box for Jeremy. Uh, probably pretty much my only Patreon left. I didn't even know we had Patreons, but we do. Uh, and then if things get really bad, I'll send him some cards from this pile. Obviously this pile is, you can tell it's not bad. It's a very interesting pile of cards. But hopefully we don't have to do that and we can actually just open good value. It is Conspiracy, take the crown. Over, I mean, you can't really, you have Kaladas, you have A for Revolt, those cards are tanking, given the fact that every good card is in the Challenger deck. Amarket is a terrible set in terms of value. Our Devastation is one of the worst sets ever. Like, it doesn't get much worse than Our Devastation, to be honest. So here we go. Good luck, Jeremy. I think what we need, Marcella, this one has been reprinted. I think what we need is we need to hit her in foil. So it's still possible to make back the value of this box and one card, but it has to be her in foil. All right, let's see what we got. A lot of this stuff had, was very good when it came out, but then they just uh, printed it to oblivion. But yeah, any set, recent set, is just so bad in terms of value. Forgotten Ancient and Nada. Let's put that to the side. I was looking at the expected value of our Devastation. If you do not hit Scarab God, the entire box is about $15. Yeah, I guess you could hit a Masterpiece, but... Massive pieces are only good if you order, if you open in like huge amounts. If you're opening one or two boxes, like you're not even guaranteed a masterpiece. Ixlon's pretty bad as well. Ooh, Queen Marcella. But yes, she has been reprinted. But it's still a beautiful card. I think it was $20 once he came out. Monarch is, let me see, is the essential card on the cover of this set. So it's good to have her. Like, you gotta really hit foils. Leovolt was in this set, but I don't remember how much he is now. He's been banned from EDH, which is gotta be hurtful. Alright, I forgot this card. This card used to be very valuable. I forget what set it was in. Hmm, I wanna say like Tempest. It was. They just reprint like everything into Oblivion. Uh, that, I mean, that was one of the best cards. You counter and then you take the card. Fantastic in ED8. Yeah, I would definitely wouldn't buy any new boxes, maybe Domania, uh, but there's just no value in it. It's so difficult to break even. Ghostly Prison. Oh, and here we have Gren, Gren Zo. And we got the Ghostly Prison, which is the more valuable card. So it's nice that you have Ghostly Prison here. I think you have Visions as well, which is a few bucks. What's Ghostly Prison still? Like one or two bucks now? Oh, these cards are really like shiny. Disenchant, Kill Shot. Ooh, we have a foil. We have a foil. It begins with an A. What good cards begin with A? It looks like it's multicolored. Oh no, oh man, we got we got boned. That was terrible. Oh jeez. For some reason I saw it was a foil Nahiri. So it is Adriana, Captain of the Guard. And it is in foil. I thought that was a Nahiri. I was like, wait. Nah, Nahiri's a good spec. I mean, in terms of like good specs, there really is not any in standard ever. Because they're just going to reprint it, but at the same time. Overrun, one of the most powerful cards. Regal, Behemoth. Uh, if memory serves me right, this, like, this stuff is not worth any money. Regal, Behemoth. I am almost certain that they made this a dinosaur. Is that correct? There's a card in this set that they made a dinosaur, and then its price went up a bit. Is real? No, that doesn't look like a dinosaur, though. 
Let me see. It's a lizard. Yeah, it might be a dinosaur. They might have made this a dinosaur. Someone check on this. Did they make this a dinosaur and now it's more valuable? Doom Traveler, one of the best cards in Instrad. Or was it Dark Ascension? Throne of the High City, that's not bad. It's a very unique land. So for EDH, anytime you have a land that doesn't come in play tapped, it's probably worth playing just because there's so many unique lands. So I would not be surprised if that one was worth like a few bucks. Morcheller is probably five bucks. Like I, I know she was reprinted recently, as literally every card has been. Oh, yeah, this is a good one. Kaya, I'm almost certain. All right, so this box has not been bad, especially if we had opened it before Marcella got reprinted. But we got a city, we got a land, we got a ghostly prison. Our foil rare could have been better, but maybe we pull foil mythic. Let's see. Flames. Ooh. A losing Diebog Tutor. War Chant. Ooh, Sagomancer. This card used to be really good. Vampires. Oh, that one vampire went up a lot in price. What was that from Innistrad that makes those tokens? That's a really cool vampire. It did go up a ton in price. All right. Let's see. Let's hope we open something good. I mean, yeah, I mean, I think this is the most expensive card in the set. Because it hasn't been reprinted. Ooh, another Dragon Lair Spider. You always get one of these a box. Guaranteed. I'm almost certain that this has got to be one of the pricier cards because literally everything else in this set has been reprinted. Leovolt. Yeah, Leovolt. So we have two Mythics. We probably have two to three more Mythics left. If we hit a Leovolt, we'll be good. Leovolt, I think, is 40, 50 bucks, or he used to be. Keeper of the Keys. Now we kind of hit this patch of really bad cards that they know are very bad. Oh, we have not hit a Visions yet, so maybe we'll get a foil one of those. Or right, Inquisition. Oh, another Ghostly Prison. That's a good one. Ghostly Prison number two. Psychonic Crawler. Hmm. Not the best, but the Ghostly Prison is probably the best card we can expect. That's why I love Uncommons. When Uncommons are good in the set, is Path in the set? When Uncommons are really good in the set, uh, it makes a huge difference because you're guaranteed pretty much Uncommons. Coordinated Assault. Goblin Balloon. Maybe it's playable in Popper. You never know. You never know of these things. Oh, uh, the what's it called is playable in Popper. The... Uh, uh, Kinfin Fiend. That's definitely playable in Papa. Really fun deck. So we get, let's see, Death Wind is pretty good. Explosive Vegetation. Carnage. Oh, I've not seen this card before. I don't really know what it does, but it does not look like. If I don't recognize what it does, it means it's bulk. Alright, almost done. Half, and the video camera is still okay right now. Oh yeah, this guy in foil has got to be worth some money, for sure. Evolving Wild in foil, eh. Infest. Wild Pair, okay, this, oh, and Sylvan Realm, so I'll put that down here. Wild Pair, kind of like uh, a fun card in green. Not doubly seizing, and not uh, parallel lives, but love the artwork. That is a reprint, I believe. It's a fun card. Ooh, another foil, Charmbreaker Devil, and here's our foil uncommon, which unfortunately is a burn away. All right, so we hit a patch of roughness. Can we end with, you know, something good in this particular half? We don't know. We do not know. Oh, here's another foil. Oh, Burgeoning. This card has been going up in price. Burgeoning is definitely very good. And Goblin Racketeer. Okay. Wow, uh, free red. All, all the floors have be, been red. So let's see. Last pack in this half, then we go to the next half. And hopefully, I do not run out of batteries. I hope. 
Infin, Ghostly Prison. Gotta go a little faster. Faith Reward, this used to be a spec. Terrible spec, by the way, but hey. MTG Finance, gotta get that finance money. All right, so what are we hoping to get? Uh, we have t probably two more Mythics on this side. And what maybe like a foil mythic would be good. Overall, I mean, it, it could be worse, but it could also be better. So burn away, Beast Within, that's a good card. What's the rare? Oh, wow, Levo. Okay, I mean, he used to be 50 bucks. Then he got banned from EDH's. And then he went to $40. I have no idea what he is right now, but Levo, he's one of the strongest cards like in the set. So we got Levo, Kala, and Queen Marcella. So all good mythics. There's lots of bad mythics in the set. So at least we avoided, for the most part, Irresistible Pariah. Okay, that is not the best. But we did get Levo. We got Levo, so that makes up for the next, like, half of the box. What is Levo worth? Like, I don't, I haven't seen him in any Legacy deck list yet, like, recently. Then again, I don't, oh, that's the, the Smiths. Oh, here's a regular captain to go with our foil cop captain. It would be, it would be epic if we had a foil level. It's still possible because we, a foil mythic, the foil rare, I don't think matters for the mythic counts. 100 hands. Oh, geez. That's what you get. You get that one level and then the rest of it is like, then you get a pile of junk. It's just, when does that pile of junk end? Oh, the Knights of the Black Rose. Inquisition, that's a good one. And something gladiator. Like, what? I can't read this. Carnage, Gladiator. But we got Inquisition, which is now uncommon. Still, nonetheless, it is a useful card. And we hit... This is a lot better than the last box. Uh, this is the last box of Conspiracy Take the Crown I have. The only other box I have is RTR now. Stampede. Oh, I just remembered who's valuable. This this dude is valuable. Uh, this dude. He went from like two bucks to like twenty bucks overnight. I mean, there is still not bad. Just there's so much bad stuff in the set. But if you avoid all the bad stuff and you hit all me, berserk. All right, I mean, that card was, it used to be an $80 card. $80 uncommon that they made a mythic. All right, we hit, not bad, Marcella, Leovo, Berserk, and I mean, some actually decent cards. This has been sitting in, I've owned this since it came out. Birds of Paradise, Horn of Greed. Oh yeah, that's gotta be an EDH card. All right, so now our uh, trend is going up. Foil Kalia. Kyla. Yeah, not bad. I mean, Horn of Greed foil, so we have two foil rares. Nice. A nerve. Ooh, spy kit. Arc Demon, that's no good. Not bad. We got burgeoning. We got uh, two ghostly prisons. We got Inquisition. We got foil Horn of Greed. Is Horn of Greed good? Whenever a player plays a land, that player... Yeah, that's, that's really good in Idiots. That is pretty good. Infest, Juniper, Hedron Matrix. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> it's pretty good. I mean, it's not the, the best I've ever seen, but it's also not... Oh, here's another foil. Lots of foils in this set. Dustmasker and Murder. A beautiful. That is gorgeous, actually. But, uh... It is Murder. So like when some people open boxes, they're like, oh, this murder is amazing. I love the artwork. I don't give two blanks about the artwork. <laughs> is it worth more than a dollar or not? It's not worth a dollar. I don't care how good the artwork looks like. Oh, Visions. Boop, boop, our first Visions. Oh, geez, this is our second one of these. Huh. Okay. Let's all hope to get a foil Kalia. Come on, I, I feel it. Foil, oh, another Visions, nice. Okay, that's not bad. A regular Horn of Greed. 
How much is Horn of Greed? That card was Stormhold. Storm. Oh man, it's got to be a ton of money before like it got blasted by the reprint. All right, Prey Upon. Ooh, Caller of the Untamed. This is a beautiful card. Wait, what's a rare? Oh, that is a rare. That is a gorgeous card. It's like, wow, it's gorgeous. Oh, man. Yeah, this, this is probably the prettiest card I've seen in a while. Maybe I should spec on that card. I can't imagine there's too many foil versions of that out in the market. It's a beautiful card. Hail of Arrows. Yes, we got, I'm almost certain that this is one of the more valuable cards in this set. Um, yeah, this, this was a very good box. Like, really, really good. Compared to other boxes I've opened. It's like in similar boxes. Last box in the case. I guess that's where all the good cards were. Recruiter of the Guard, wow. This, that's another good rare. Um, if this box was opened when the height of Conspiracy Take the Crown, this would be one of the most expensive boxes, the best boxes I've ever opened. I don't know the current prices, but a lot of these cards had a ton of value. They were the chase cards at the time. Ooh, Marcella Degree. Exotic Orchard, yes, that does see some play. Lance are always good. Last pack, foil, no, not Kalia. Here's Adriana. Adriana's a very nice name. I like that name, it's a pretty good name. Deadly Design, Blast, Peacock. The last one's black, there's nothing good in black. Oh, it's a lich. All right, let's summarize what we got. We got one Birds of Paradise. We got uh, two ghostly prisons. And these are just kind of, well, I guess we got our mark. Okay, let's put the good notable mythics, notable rares, and notable uncommons. We got a uh, desertion. I think that's pretty, I'm gonna guess at like how much these cards are worth. So I kind of put them on the side. Oh, we, I mean, I feel it's a lot. I think this is worth like a few dollars. Uh, it does see some legacy play. Recruiter to guard. Imperial Recruiter Substitute. This one is definitely very good. I'm almost certain of it. Horn Agreed, I think it's just average. Visions, it's nice to get Visions. It's nice to get Visions. Foil Murder is kind of nice. Um, Horn Agreed. That's got to be... Oh, Berserk. I forgot we got Berserk. Um, Inquisition. Pariah. Leavolt. Uh, Beast Within is pretty... We only got one Beast Within, which is fine. It's better than none. And now we're gonna take this other pile here. I think we got the value. I think this is whatever, like this is the most you can ever expect from a set like this. Uh, wild pair is probably worth a few dollars. The mythics have all, all on point. Uh, city is probably, I'm pretty sure this one is worth something because they made a dinosaur. And that's it. Uh, well, we did get another foil rare. So we got, Five rare and mythics. All of them, I think, semi good. I'm almost certain that Leovolt and Sivana is worth like quite a bit. That if you combine them and you combine just the mythics, I think we're good. And the rest of it was kind of nice. You got the Wild Pair, the bur Burgeoning, the Recruiter, and Inquisition. You got two Ghostly Prisons, and then, like a bunch of other stuff. So pretty good. I'm gonna try to send this out Monday. I'm gonna try to have this video up. But yeah, thank you, Jeremy, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.